Hi, I'm Miriam Shaviv with today's edition of Mastering Email Marketing. And today I want to give you a really powerful tip how to make sure that your email is really going to perform well before you actually hit that send button. Obviously, you've spent a lot of time writing a great email, so you want that to pay off. But how do you actually know that's going to happen? The answer is that you need to have a little checklist that you run through before, you're set, before you send out your email um, that covers some key elements that have to be right before you're happy sending out that email. So what kind of things should you look out for? On our checklist, we have five, and I'm gonna run through them with you right now. The very first one is, is there a really clear message? That is the key to the success of your email. There'll be a key idea that you want to convey, just one, any more than that is confusing for your readers. So you need to look at your email again with fresh eyes. Does that idea that I wanted to convey really come across in a very, very clear way? If not, you need to really go back to the drawing board and look at that again. The second thing that we'll look at and that you should be looking at as well is emotion. So look back at your copy. Does it actually elicit an emotional response from your readers? Does it connect to them in a very, very real way? That means that your email can't just be very logical and full of facts. It needs to really connect to people's emotions, talk about their real experiences, and really get them to, to, to feel something because that is the way that people buy. They buy when they feel an emotional connection and when you have made them feel how deep their problem is and how much they want a solution, not just hold them that. The third thing that we will look at and that you should be looking at as well is does the email open and, cl and close in a really powerful way? Once people have actually opened your email, you have a matter of about two or three seconds to really get them interested in what you're saying. Otherwise, they will just close it and go read something else. So you wanna go look at the first few lines. Are you telling a really great story? Do you have some kind of amazing fact or some kind of amazing, really interesting statement to start off with? When you do that, people are much more likely to stick with you and to carry on reading. But you also want to look at the end. You don't want it to fizzle, out, to fizzle out at the end. You really want to end with a bang as well. So look at the opening, look at the end. Are those both really powerful? The fourth thing that you're going to look out for is the flow of your email. Again, read it through with objective eyes. Does it read well? Is there any bits that just stick out a little bit and don't really fit in? Is the grammar right? Um, are there any typos? You wanna make it as easy as possible for people to read this and for it to be a pleasant experience for them. That means looking at the technical aspects as well. How does it flow? How does it read? And making sure that the answer is really, really well. Last but not least, number five, you wanna make sure that there is a really strong call to action on the email. Go back. Look again at what you are actually asking your readers to do at the end of the email. You don't want them just to read it and then go off do something else. There will always be another step that you want them to take, whether that is downloading a piece of content, going to look at a landing page, maybe it's even watching a video, contacting you, booking some kind of strategy session with you. You want them to read that email and then take, and then take another action that will bring them one step closer to actually working with you or buying from you. So look at whether there is a call to action, look at how strongly and how well that call to action is conveyed and make sure that it is as strong as possible because that is the key to actually getting results from your email. Now, you should have a checklist, as I said. If you work with a team, if you have a team that writes your emails for you, Give them the checklist and you use that checklist when you're looking over that copy, but it's really useful as a reminder for yourself as well as you're writing the email, which bits really need to work in order for this email to help power your business forward. Now, if you would like a little bit of help writing these emails really fast and making sure that they fulfill all five of those criteria, then I have a, an amazing resource for you. It's a free book, a free ebook called how to write high converting emails in 10 minutes or less. It's got some really powerful tips in there. 
I've put the address below in the description. So just head over there, grab your free copy of the ebook and in enjoy. And I will be back next week with another edition of Mastering Email Marketing. I'm Miriam Shaviv of Brainstorm Digital. Have a great day.